Now to Fort Collins, where a man and his daughter are without a home after somebody stole their 31-foot-long trailer. Our Dylan Thomas joins us live in Fort Collins. And Dylan, the owner says this has turned his life upside down. Kathy Chris Trimble said he was set to move to Fremont County this morning. He had bought a 31 foot long trailer that had a bedroom for both himself and his six year old daughter, and they were going to build themselves a new house down south. But this morning, while staying with friends, they woke up to find their trailer had been stolen. Sunday morning, Chris Trimble woke up ready to move to Fremont County when a friend he was staying with came running inside the guest bedroom. He said, your camper's gone, and I thought, you've got to be kidding me. Trimble said his trailer was parked and plugged in when he went to bed Sunday morning around 1.30. I had absolutely no thought of it ever being stolen. Trimble says thieves must have hitched the trailer and drove off. And it requires a, a specialized hitch to pull it because it is so big. It's 31 feet long. Taking it without care for the attached extension cord or the blocks holding the camper in place. You can see where they drove right out and you can actually see the tire marks going south. Trimble says he felt the camper was in a safe place. It's hard to believe that something like this could happen in a neighborhood just blocks away from a school and one of Fort Collins bigger parks. He says it was more than a $15,000 investment that was stolen. That is my home. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Now with his move to Southern Colorado on hold, all Trimble can do is ask for help finding his home. I work very hard <laughs> for that camper and uh, I have a little girl that needs that camper too. I mean, I need that camper for a place to live. A very tough situation and Trimble admits that he did make two mistakes. First off, he didn't get insurance in time before this entire event happened. And also he says he forgot to put a lock on that hitch, preventing someone from being able to take his trailer. He encourages anyone who has a trailer to take those steps necessary. And he also asked the public to call the Fort Collins Police Department if they've seen his home. Live in Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. Let's hope he gets it back, Dylan.